Cytiva is passionate about working with our customers to get the best out of our products. Their tips and tricks videos from our technical support office helped us to get closer to you and to your challenges. In this video, Mike will share his tips and tricks for getting the best out of Histrap Fast Flow Crude Column, an excellent way to purify histidine tag proteins directly from unclarified cell lysates. Hi Mike, tell us more. Hi, the Histrap Fast Flow Crude is an excellent column. It simplifies and speeds up preparation time and gets you to your pure proteins more quickly. It's really valuable when working with protease-sensitive proteins. Let me explain how to get the best out of it. Okay, Mike's first tip, how to optimize cell lysis. It really is simple. I make sure that the sonication is done carefully and well. I then add lysozyme and DNAs to the sample, reducing the viscosity and making it easy to load large volumes onto the column without increasing the back pressure. I keep the sample on ice to maintain protein integrity. If the sample has been frozen or stored for a long time, I give it an extra sonication to minimize the viscosity. Check the link to the protocol diagram. Mike's second tip, changing flow rate and viscosity can minimize increased back pressure and the risk of a clogged column. Well, I load up to 100 mils on the 1 mil column and up to 500 mils on the 5 mil column, depending on the sample viscosity and cell debris. What is important is to avoid the ultimate consequence of increased back pressure, a clogged column. Think about viscosity. Fish survive in frozen lakes because water is most dense and viscous at 4 degrees Celsius and sinks to the bottom of the lake so it doesn't freeze. Lucky fish. Your samples are also usually at 4 degrees Celsius and may be very viscous indeed. Simply changing to room temperature for the run might be a good idea. You could also try reducing the flow rate or sample volume. Mike's third tip. Use the emitter salt concentration to minimize contaminants and increase purity. Non-specific binding is one factor influencing purity. A contaminant may bind to the medium or the ligand. This is easy to handle. First, I use quite a high concentration of imidazole in the sample and running buffer. Then I use a slightly higher concentration of imidazole in the wash steps than I would with most other types of media. This helps to wash out any contaminants which may have bound to the medium. By the way, high purity imidazole shows virtually no absorbance at 280 nanometers so there is no problem in using different concentrations. Why don't you check the link to the buffers? Mike's tip number four. Remember, you have much more freedom using reducing agents than you think. Yes, you can use all the usual reducing agents. The important tip is always to do a blank run first without reducing agents. Then apply the sample to the column in binding buffer containing the reducing agent. Remember, never leave your column in buffers containing reducing agents or the protein binding capacity of the column will be lowered. Check out the link to the list of reducing agents. If you are careful to follow these tips and tricks, you will optimize the yield and purity of your protein. To get all the details, look in the instruction manual and check out the links. Here is a reminder of the top tips. 1. Optimize cell lysis. 2. Manage viscosity and flow rate to reduce back pressure. 3. Minimize contaminants by using imidazole concentration. 4. Choose the optimum reducing agent for your sample.